Good morning and welcome to another vlog. For those who don't know me, I am Kieran and I am a first year student here at the University of Cambridge. I study law and I'm a part of Homerton College. Um, so today I have got um, two lectures on, one for criminal law and one for the law of tort. Um, I'll be heading over to Cedric site soon for those. Um, I'm just going to first of all get breakfast. Um, here at Homerton College and then like I said I'll head over to the Citrix site uh, so I'll probably see you later so with those lectures over I'm in the Squire Law Library now I'm just going to stay here now because I've got my uh, civil law supervision this afternoon at Clare Hall so it's just, I thought it would just be easier to stay here I'll read over my notes answer the rest of the questions and just get myself prepared for the supervision I am back from my supervision. The supervision was really good. We focused on the uh, Roman law of contract. Um, in particular, we looked at the essay question that we, uh, the problem question that we had to hand in. Um, so we went through like how we, we should be approaching those kind of questions and the kind of things that we could have discussed if we hadn't already discussed them. And that was really helpful. It just, I mean, it was, supervisions are really good because they do help you to clarify anything that you're uncertain about. Um, yeah, so that was uh, good. Um, I'll see, I've just had something to eat. I'll now be going back to the library. I do uh, once more. Um, obviously, there's still more work that I need to get on with. I just decided to organise some notes, organise a few things that I downloaded from Westlaw um, um, in the library. I've come back to my room because I'm about to go and have prees with my friends. We are going out to Cindy's tonight. Um, it is, after all, Valentine's Day. Um, so we bought uh, one of these tickets here. Um, this is for entry to Cindy's and apparently we get a free glow, a glow stick um, on entry with this voucher. That's what it says on here. So it sounds good um, and I'm sure we'll have a good time and it's likely therefore I'll probably see you tomorrow. Good morning and first of all Cindy's was uh, really good. The atmosphere and the music was, it was just, it was really good. It was a really good night. Um, today obviously it's Friday which means that I've got nine o'clock lecture. I've got a lecture for constitutional law and civil law uh, but I've also got a few, a few other things happening on today. So I'm um, going to head over to the Civic site now for those two lectures. So yeah, I'll see you later. The lectures are over now. The uh, constitutional lecture continued on looking at human rights and the civil law lecture started to look at um, other forms of contracts uh, and pacts, which was quite interesting. Uh, we'll just start at that um, and we'll be continuing on that in the later lectures. I'm heading back to uh, college now. I've got a few things happening today, um, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But first... Of course, no vlog is complete without its laundry segment. So here we are once more. I have my laundry bag behind me as you can see I've just had to top up my account because uh, obviously we use a card now and uh, this is it here so I need, I, need, I need to put the cord into this uh, machine that's over at, at right in front of me um, and then obviously then I can use uh, the wash the, the machines and um, cycles about 40 minutes so what I'm probably going to do is have some lunch in the meantime the laundry is done and I've started to answer some of the questions for the criminal law supervision that I've got next week. I'm going out now and the reason why I'm going out is I've actually got a blind date. Would you believe it? Um, let me explain. Um, so a while back um, we had uh, I signed up for the RAG blind date and RAG, it, it was for charity so we pay, I paid some money and we've got a charity uh, and for doing that I got a form in my uh, pigeonhole uh, that I had to fill in uh, just it was just like just it was just like fun questions and you just put like whatever answer you wanted to, uh, to put down and then they would uh, find someone uh, and match you up basically um, and then you'd go on like a, the blind date uh, most of the blind dates were on the Tuesday um, and people obviously we were 
you could go to Cindy's afterwards. That's why, for those who have seen my previous vlog, uh, I went to Cindy's on the Tuesday because my friends had their blind date and I had already bought um, entry into Cindy's, so I just thought I was basically well go. Um, my date is today. I'm going to Hot Numbers, uh, which is like a nice coffee shop, which would be nice. And yeah, this will be fun. It'll be good fun. Um, and, and I can't wait. And it's sunny outside. Probably a little bit chilly, but it is sunny nonetheless. The blind date that I had was, it was good fun. Um, there was obviously me and my date, and then there was uh, her friend and her friend's date as well. It was just nice. It was a uh, we had a good conversation, and it was just, it was just, yeah, it was just, it was just, it was just good fun. And um, came back and got on with some more work, um, just mainly just um, looking at the questions for the upcoming supervisions. Um, but now I am off to a formal. This formal is at Jesus College. Uh, it's been organised by Astrid. Um, Astrid is another YouTuber. Uh, first of all, she um, she is a YouTuber uh, at Jesus College. She is a second year student, so uh, do check out her channel first of all. Link will be in the description um, below. But she's organised this formal for a charity known as Calm. This is the campaign against living miserably. Um, quite an important charity looking at particularly um, issues around um, suicide in males and um, so let's just put this on to kind of like pr to promote it and to get people make people aware of it and um, so that's very good of her to do that and I've decided to go along uh, and support her uh, with that so that'll be uh, so yeah it'll be it'll be a good evening Formal was just brilliant. It was really uh, good, so the food was delicious, uh, and Astrid was able to raise uh, over a hundred pound for uh, Calm, which is just fantastic. Um, you know, well done to her. And, you know, she's, you know, she did a fantastic job with it, and it was very good for her to organise that formal in in for quite a very important cause. Um, I'm going to put a link to the website. Uh, to the main website for Calm, so just check it out, just so that you know, you know, be aware of it and be aware of obviously the importance of it. Um, I would appreciate if you did have a did at least have a look at it. Um, after the formal, uh, we went to um, the Jip Room um, in where in the accommodation that uh, Astrid and her friends are uh, st uh, staying at, and we just uh, chatted and. Uh, I, I had I had some more drink. I had a little bit more wine, which was uh, nice. Uh, it was just it was just lovely. Um, thank you, Astrid, um, for for just a brilliant night. Um, it was it was really good. Um, and thank you again for you know organising something for what is a, indeed a very important cause. Um, isn't it now? It's been a, it's been a long day. A long day, but it's been a brilliant day uh, as well. You know, the blind date, the formal, just brilliant. Um, so I hope to, I hope to see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is now the weekend, um, so that means well, there's no lectures or supervisions, um, f uh, for me at least. Uh, but of course, the work does uh, continue on. Um, so what I'm probably going to be doing is doing some note taking and I've got um, that final essay, that, uh, for some final problem question that I need to deal with uh, in the library. So I'll probably catch you later. I've so far been able to make some notes for constitutional law. I haven't done it all and there's quite a bit to do, uh, but I'm getting there. There is a lot of reading when it comes to law, but you know I'm enjoying it so far. Um, like the content and everything. And I've just had something to eat. Um, and now I'll probably head back to the library. I am determined to get that final uh, problem question done and sent off. That means that all of the out uh, of the four qu problem questions uh, slash essay questions that I need to do will be done and dusted, which I'll be pleased with.
I have great news. I have sent off the final uh, problem question I need to do. So the four that I had are all done. They've been sent off and now they're obviously waiting to be marked. Uh, I've actually had one of them back. Um, I had the civil law back, but I've just as you got, got away for the other ones to be marked. Heading to the shops now to get a few things in, um, including maybe some more wine. Maybe that might be one thing that's I might be getting. Um, but then I'll be coming back and meet and probably have something to eat and then continue on with my note taking. Like I said, I was going to do. I continued on making notes uh, for constitutional law. I've come back to my room now because we have a bop on this evening. Uh, for those who are not familiar, uh, bops are uh, they're just like parties basically. It's a you know it's a, it's a, it's a dance uh, dance party, drinks, music, you know that kind of thing. Um, so we're having priests now and then we'll be heading over to, uh, to the hall which is where the bop is. The theme of the bop this time is uh, in, well it's because it's Pride Month, um, uh, this uh, obviously February is pr uh, Pride Month, they've decided to do the bop based around Pride which I think is a fantastic idea uh, so that should be lots of fun. Good morning and it is now Sunday uh, the bop was really good fun, um, brilliant music. Uh, it was just, it was lovely. It was just, it was a really uh, good night. Um, like I said, it's Sunday, so that means it's brunch later on, which would be which would be delicious as always. Um, but first, I'm going to try and get on with some more note taking for constitutional law. So I'll probably see you later. So I've just had brunch and it was delicious as always. Uh, I'm heading back to the library now. If you you just look, it's sunny. It is actually sunny and it's actually quite warm. Uh, well, mild, I should say. Um, so, well, there you go. Um, it may be February, but it's still sunshine, so uh, that's good. But yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna head back to the library and get on with some more work. I have managed to do most of the notes for Constitutional Law. Not all of them, but I've managed to do most of them, which I'm pleased with. Uh, and I've just had something to take for dinner. I do now need to obviously go to the shops at some point, probably not a day, but I do need to go to the shops and get some more food in because I've used up uh, um, pretty much most of the butter and most of my sandwich filling, so I need to go and do that at some point uh, next week, and um, probably tomorrow, uh, I would imagine. Probably go back to uh, the library now and get on with some more uh, note-taking and things like that. I just decided to focus on um, just making some notes for constitutional law and for criminal law as well. I haven't done it all, but I'll, see, I'll finish that off later. I'm just probably going to catch up on this book that I'm reading. Uh, it's Sweet Tooth by Ian McEwan. Um, I haven't actually read it in a few days, uh, I think maybe about a week since the uh, last time I read it, so I need to catch up on that. Uh, so I'll, re I'll read a little bit of this and then I'll probably go to bed. And so I'll probably, hopefully, see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone, and it is now Monday. So the plan today is to first of all go and get something for breakfast, and then I'll head over to the Cedric site for my two lectures today. And then afterwards, of course, um, head back to college to get on with some more note-taking and preparation, especially for my two supervisions on Wednesday, one for criminal, and one for constitutional law. So I'll probably catch you later. The lectures are over now. The uh, taught lecture continued on vicarious liability and the constitutional lecture continue to look at the Human Rights Act, which is quite interesting. I think I'm definitely interested in doing human rights next year. I'm probably going to go back to uh, college now and get on with some work. Like I said, prepare for those supervisions on Wednesday. So I've just been focusing on answering more of the questions for the supervisions on Wednesday. I've pretty much done most of them now, which I'm pleased with. And I've started to take up some more notes of criminal law. But I'm just going to go to the shops first, get a few things in, and then have something to eat for dinner. After many hours, <laughs> oh, it has been quite a while actually, um, after many hours of uh, note-taking, I've managed to do the notes I need to do for criminal law and constitutional law, which I am pleased with. 
Um, I'm just having a nice cup of tea now, just uh, uh, and some. Actually, I think I've got some chocolate uh, bites, uh, Cadbury chocolate bites from uh, the co-op. I'm just having those as a nice little reward for getting through that. And then I'll probably go to bed because I've got two lectures on tomorrow. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, and it's Tuesday, so I've got two lectures, one for civil law and one for criminal law. So I'll be heading over to the civic site now just to prepare for those by reading off the lecture notes. And then I'll come back to college and get on with some work. So I'll probably see you later. That's two more lectures over for this week. Uh, the civil law lecture continued on looking at uh, the law of contract and the criminal lecture continued looking at participation uh, in a crime, uh, slightly actus reus and mens rea needed, which is quite interesting. Um, head back to college now and get on with preparing for the supervisions tomorrow. It's actually quite a nice day today. Uh, it's not too cold and the sun's out, so what more can you have? So just to give you an update of what I've been up to, I managed, I've been able to get the notes I wanted to get done for tort law uh, completed, so I'm pleased with that. I did, initially did that in the library, and then I went to have dinner with a couple of my friends in the hall, which was nice. And then I decided, because they were going to study in the buttery, I decided to, uh, I, I asked if I could join them and they were happy for me to join, which I, it, was just, it was just nice. It was nice to just work amongst uh, friends. Um, they, they obviously were working on different things, but it was just nice to, uh, uh, it was nice to have the company. Uh, and then I just stayed on for a little bit just to finish things off and do a couple of other things. And now I'm just, here I am, back in my room. Um, probably, probably do a couple more things before I go to uh, bed, just to check a few things, maybe check emails, things like that. And then obviously tomorrow I've got my two supervisions uh, on. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, and it is now Wednesday, so the final day of week five, which is just crazy. <laughs> the week is almost coming to an end again. Um, no lectures on today, but I do have the two supervisions, one for criminal law and one for constitutional law. Uh, so it's going to be quite a busy day in, in that respect. Uh, so probably what I'll do now is go and get some breakfast and then get on with some work and preparation in the library. So hopefully... I'll see you later. So I've started to make some notes on civil law. I've almost finished it. Uh, I'll probably finish that uh, after uh, lunch. Now the interesting thing about lunch, um, I've just come in and, into the kitchen to get some uh, something to eat and I've just noticed that my tonic water has completely frozen over. I don't, know if, I don't know if you can see it, but it has frozen over. I don't know how it's happened. Uh, and I think the ham has frozen over as well, so I'll, ma I'll, I'll, I'll manage. I'll, I'll, I should be able to make some kind of uh, sandwich, but yeah, I just, I just thought I would let you, let you all know about the frozen f uh, food and drink that is in my, that is in the kitchen fridge. So I just ended up buying something in the buttery. Hopefully, the ham will be frozen over for when I need it. I hope. I'm just heading over for my criminal law supervision, um, which is here in college, so that's good. Uh, it, th this supervision is on inculcate offences, or things like attempts, so it should be good at all. I've just had the supervision for incoherent uh, offences in relation to criminal law. That was quite good. Uh, we went through a few of the questions and just talked about uh, a few things that we were, uh, certainly I was unsure about. It did help to clarify things, which I'm pleased with. Probably just get on with some more work now. And then I'm heading over to Jesus College later on, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that uh, later. So I'm heading over to uh, Jesus College now. Um, there's no supervision on. Um, well, there is one, but not at Jesus College, not till next week. Um, but I'm heading over there because uh, someone that I uh, met uh, on, at the formal last Friday um, is offering to cook um, uh, and actually teach me uh, a little bit of cooking, which I am just in. Yeah, I just appreciate that. Uh, willing to do that for me. You know, if, well, say, those who've watched my previous uh, video, you know that one of my aims for second term was to do some more cooking. Um, uh, been a bit slow on, in, in that area, but, um, but this will hopefully will help me. So uh, uh, I think we'll comment what we're making again, uh, but I'm sure it'll be good. And then I'll probably obviously, get ready for the constitutional supervision at Hughes Hall. 
So I end up learning how to make uh, burgers, but I also end up learning how to make um, mug cakes, uh, which I, to be honest, I never heard of mug cakes before today. Um, so thank you, thank you, uh, Henry, for uh, letting me know about mug cakes, and thank you also for uh, help just te just teaching me and um, uh, how to cook, uh, and he's also. Um, Referred me to uh, well to one example of a good uh, cookbook that I could use, uh, which I might uh, go and get uh, at some point. Um, so it'll just be nice to be able to uh, cook uh, other things, and you know, rather than just making uh, sandwiches or rather just them boiling eggs. Um, the supervision that came afterwards uh, was good, so we went through judicial review and uh, discussed the different cases and what we thought about them. And I'm back in my room now, probably get on with some more work, just, well I think I'll probably do a little bit of work um, uh, tonight, uh, we'll see, and then I'll see, go to bed. Um, update on the, you might remember the tonic water had frozen over, I left it in my room, it, um, just for it to you know, fall away, and it is now back to tonic water rather than tonic ice. Uh, just I thought I'd give you that update. I ended up getting up on with a little bit of work, not a lot, and uh, I just thought I would have more of a quiet night in, which I think you do need sometimes. And I'm probably going to go to bed now, and that means another vlog is over, another week is over. Um, fifth week is normally known as um, you know, the week five blues, and it's often because uh, obviously we're coming towards the end of term, it's often you know, the peak of the workload, uh, but I've survived. I have survived the week five blues, which is good. It's been quite a good week, you know, it's been ups and downs, but you know, there's been a lot of good things, a lot of things that have happened this week, uh, as you'll have seen uh, earlier on in this vlog. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you've enjoyed it, uh, don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to, uh, follow, so to hit that notification bell to keep up to date. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram and also don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel here and also you can see my previous vlog here. It's, you know, I do hope that uh, I will be able to see you in the next vlog.